So welcome to this uh, little setup of an MFC microbio fuel cell. And now we're producing like 62 microvolts, millivolts on sludge from out of my aquaponics system. Uh, it's a little bit experiment. I have uh, graphite cathodes and uh, anodes, which is the uh, overhead sheet with uh, graphite rubbed on. And we get like uh, a good output. And it jumps up. But anyway, it's power from uh, sludge out of your aquaponics system. It's like uh, anaerobic bacteria pull electrons on your cathode or anode. It's on the bottom of uh, this container. And H plus will rise up to a more oxygen rich uh, level, like the surface. And there it is, cathode will. Uh, release this electron and with a combination of H plus and uh, oxygen water is formed and the cycle is closed. So this thing is just rising. They say you're 780 millivolts uh, when you have a full grown uh, biofilm of bacteria on your uh, anode on the bottom. And also made a little bit of reactor. It's like an osmosis uh, device, I drill the hole in it, put a carbon electrode or anode disease in it, and there is our cathode, it's the same, um, but this one has a PEM filter membrane, it's a photon exchange membrane that is uh, only letting H plus through to this oxygen rich filtered water container. So oxygen can get in, H plus can also get in, and the electron can go vice versa, so get a load on it. And you can pump in sludge, so there's always a little movement in there for your anode, and sludge will can, ah, can get out. The only uh, thing with this PEM membrane is it's from J cloth, kitchen fiber cloth. And that will be uh, it's biological degradable, so bacteria will eat it in three months and then you have to put in a new filter. But you can also do it with fiberglass cloth that is not biodegradable. So maybe it's possible to run a complete aquaponics system on just biological energy in most panels and bacteria power. Also produce a little bit of methane gas as byproducts. So it's very interesting. So other people can reproduce it. Maybe we can make it better by sharing our knowledge. And so for this bioreactor we have like uh, 27 millivolts. But it's only one strip. If I put more cathode strips in it or oh, anode strips, excuse me. Uh, I've reached a voltage of a half volt, <laughs> 500 millivolts. So it's quite interesting. And we have here a look at the inside of our. Oh, it's leaking out of it. <laughs> anyway, this is our PEM membrane. And you can see the sludge uh, dripping out of it. But here is our proton exchange membrane, otherwise j cloth kitchen uh, thing you can wipe with your kitchen clean with it. And it's also a PEM membrane, which is biodegradable so it will not last forever. But by this way um, uh, you can have two chambers with your oxygen cathode and your anodes. You know, uh, anaer anaerobic environment. So, that's the whole part. And you can put a pump in it and it will pump uh, uh, the sludge in and out. So, now how to make those uh, graphene uh, graphite sheets? I use uh, overhead sheets, uh, you can buy them, and they are negatively charged. The 
So what we do is we get a clip cloth and then rub it in. It's all that sheet already appearing. So this way we can make this um, plastic sheet conductive and support to make it more easy. I use this machine. Put it on the cloth. conductive sheet and you can do it longer and you have less resistance until it's really metallic shiny like a mirror so I'm gonna do that and get back to you later so here we have the end result it's a shiny conductive plate it's almost like a mirror it's sharper ah, it doesn't know where to focus <laughs> anyway Maybe in the sun. Yeah, you see? Quite reflective. <laughs> but it's conductive also now. And you can use it as a carbon electrode. So it's not uh, containing any metals that can react as a Gelfic. Uh, Reaction. But the thing I use is um, this graphite powder from Griffon. You can unlock uh, doors with it, and that's very useful. But you can also make those conductive sheets as electrodes for those MOS panels and those MFCs, micro biofuel cells. So, this is the end result. That's flexible and corrosion free and biological because uh, it's carbon. And plastic is not biodegradable, so it's a good last. So let's take a look in the Acropolis geodome again. It's the end of May, 30th of May, and we have a temperature of 22 degrees. And take a look how things are going here. It's just magnificent. Things are growing fast. <laughs> and a lot. <laughs> it's just endless flow of green. <laughs> Let's take a look at the fish. They're getting bigger every day. Foggy the water, hard to focus to work inside that. Dogwood is going great. This tree is just uh, yeah, expanding. <laughs> he likes it. Ah, gives me a slap also. Uh, I cleaned the swirl filter, it was really uh, messy, so I dumped it in the black container in the last video. Updated the hoses with a bigger diameter. The yellow houses, uh, so more water can officially be siphoned into this uh, well where it's been pumped up, and the water flow is just much, much greater. So, yay! Nice bed of clovers, have some uh, chili co cover. We got a leak, this you know, leak growing. This one is going to flower soon. I'll dive you. This is the leak. It's been great. More leak here. The super big strawberries. More flowers and cabbage. Still a lot of problems with cabbage over here in the system. It doesn't want to grow. Strange cabbage. Now we got some mint. It's uh, being sold for consumption. 
customers like it. So, a bit more flowers over here. I got a dead one. This one is also nice. Really, pretty amazing. It's just amazing. Just gonna take a photo of it. Wow. Well, more flowers over here, and even more flowers over there, and more flowers over here, and more over there, and we got some carrots growing over here. Do not form carrots uh, at this point, but maybe they will later. The shiitake uh, was still waiting on its um, arrival. Nothing uh, special in here going on. Maybe it's too warm or too dry. We don't. We got some other mint plants being devoured by snails, as you can see. <laughs> and I cut off this spring onion and we ate it, but it's growing back again, so that's nice. That's about this one. Then, our parsley is sprouting also uh, with uh, flowering. It's going to produce flowers soon. And we get some new seeds. A spider on my uh, screen. Uh, these flowers also grow nicely. Really big. But also some uh, reddish uh, seeds over here. And over there. So we can replant them. New generation. Ah, we have our kiddo. It's just a big plant, big tree. Like, uh, that's a stump. Those are really nice cut things. So, uh, come up again. Really vibrant color. Absolutely amazing. Can we get it on camera? Yeah. We did. It. It's just amazing. We got another carrot over there. None, uh, none carrots uh, on, the, on, the, on the bottoms to be seen. And we got some wheat grass. So great. So overall, things are just doing fine.